Pero, o sí. sea, es cosa que lo podemos evitar. Sí. Sí, porque yo con tanta queja que vi que después me pidieron un gran mensaje que dejara de andarme quejando. Vaya, porque en mi caso yo hasta ahorita no he recibido ningún, ningún diploma de los que iban a mandar. Sigo Good esperando. evening, teacher. Good evening, Diana. Good evening, Ana Good Graciela. evening, Good evening, Good evening teacher. Hello, hello. Uh, I can see Floricia, Diana, Armando, Romel. And let's see. I, I can see somebody, uh, Mr. Rodriguez, right? Cibrian. Hi, teacher. Uh, okay, so hi. we have Mary, Maria, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, Mary, good to see you here. Okay, so welcome everybody. Hello, hello. Thank you, teacher. All right, so it's a pleasure to see you once again. I have seven people, okay, and uh, we're gonna work tonight a lot. Uh, I hope that we don't have any problems, technical problems with the internet or, um, you know, sometimes when it rains, it tends to, I mean, the meeting tends to have to face some, some problems, but hopefully tonight we are not gonna have any, any problem to solve. I okay. hope. <laughs> we hope so. We hope so, right? We hope so. Yeah, we hope so. How are you doing? How are you doing? Very good. good. <laughs> Willing to learn something new, right? Willing to learn. Okay, you can see. Let me see. Give me one second. Uh, Nelson is got into the class. Hello, Nelson. Teacher, I have a doubt. You have a doubt, Armando. What is that doubt? How do you say um, rotonda or uh, in English? Yeah, that's a the roundabout. Roundabout. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So sooner or later, we're going to study about it, okay? That's what vocabulary when teaching how to give directions in English. Mm-hmm. So sooner or later, we're going to get there. I have uh, 10 people connected and still waiting for the rest. Uh, it's 8 o'clock. Let me see. Yeah, I think we're missing one minute. So mm -hmm. we're going to wait for the rest. So be ready because, you know, you're going to you're gonna help me with the, with the, with the uh, homework assignment. I told you yesterday to study about the readings. Is that right? <laughs> Did you study? So, so. <laughs> uh, so, so. Well, I hope that you have done it. Okay, that you have um, practiced. And, and hopefully you, you, I hope, I mean, I I, I think you have been like we, uh, working in the platform, right? I, I hope everybody has access to the platform uh, just right now. I can see Marisol de Los Angeles. Good to see you here. And, and uh, let me see. Cecia also. Cecia got into the, into the class. Jaime Ivan is just trying to get into the class. And actually I have 13 people and still waiting for. We're going to wait for one minute more and we're going to start. Uh, today we're going to study a little uh, a topic that is very basic, but it's very important. That's about uh, body parts. Our body. We're gonna we're gonna learn how to talk about our body. Uh, I will start now. I will check list of tendons. So pay attention until me you are here. 
in a class. I have Ingrid. Ingrid, Ingrid, are you there? Ana Graciela. Present teacher. Okay. Jeremy. Present teacher. Antonio. Antonio, are you there? Armando Antonio? I'm uh, here, teacher. Sorry. Okay, so <laughs> say hello, please. Hello. Blanca Stephanie. Present teacher. Carlos Aníbal. Cecia eh, Gemina. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Aníbal is not here. Eh, Diana Patricia. I'm here, teacher. Good. Elmer Alexander. Here, teacher. Eh, Noelia. Hello. Hello. Floricia. I'm here, teacher. Good. Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. Ingrid, are you there? So Ingrid is missing, right? Yvonne, are you there? Hello, Yvonne. Jaime Yvonne, I saw you. So Jaime Yvonne is not here. Um, I'll be okay, say hello, please. Please, please. Do me the favor to say hello. Karina Jomilet. I'm here, teacher. Good. Carla Gabriela. Kenny Guadalupe. Present. Good. Kenny Guadalupe, so here. Uh, Maria Imelda. Present teacher. Maria Wendy. Present teacher. Marisol. Present teacher. Nelson Rutilio. Sure. Rommel. Present teacher. Ronald. Ronald. Present teacher. A Ronald is there. And Wilfredo. Here I am, teacher. Okay, pretty good. Now, we're going to start. Okay, and remember, I need to check list the things at the end. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, tenía problema para entrar, pero aquí estoy ya. No. Aníbal Martínez. Aníbal, give me a second. Aníbal Martínez. Yes. All right, so. I got it. Thank you, Aníbal. Now, I don't know if you can see Ingrid Esmeralda there or... Uh, teacher. Hello. Yo también dije present, pero no, no sé si me escuchó solo. Después escuché que dijo she's... No, he, que no estaba aquí. Ah, Por eso okay. lo escribí en el chat, pero Ingrid. Que aquí está. Ingrid. No, no, Kenny Guadalupe. Kenny Guadalupe. All right. Yes. Thank you, Kenny. But I'm missing like Carla Gabriela and also Ingrid. But later I will, I will see. Don't worry about it. So we're going to start as soon as possible. You know, one hour sometimes seems not to be enough. And we need to advance. You are basic level uh, of English students. So Aníbal is here and also Kenny. Good. And we need to try to do our best. Now, uh, yesterday we were talking about be going to structures, right? So what are you gonna do on your birthday? Uh, when are you going to go? Um, who are you gonna go with? Etc. Right. So we were talking about questions yesterday. Do you remember? Yes. Yes, and I told you that you are gonna be like the the experts with the readings. Is that right? So did you study the readings? Did you study the readings, people? This one, for example. Now, what can you tell me about this? Now, can somebody help me to read this information about this lady? That's about Elena Buenaventura, right? Now, I will try to make it bigger so that we can read. Now, I hope you can see it. Can you see clearly? Yes. Yeah, right. Yes, so, teacher. Yes. So let's see. Let's see. Yes. Let's see. Let's see if it is possible to make it. 
Yeah, I think it's better. Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. Okay, who's going to introduce Elena? Tell me about Elena. Tell me about Elena, people. They're very able to read. Anybody in she's the a, shop? She's another one, teacher. Huh? Choose, uh, choose, a, choose a, uh, one classmate. Uh, yes. Okay, so no volunteers then. <laughs> no volunteers? Okay, so we're going to start with, uh, with uh, Diana. Please, do me a favor to read, Diana. <laughs> My 21st birthday. Teacher, casi no se mira bien porque tiene unas letras ahí, oh, un más oh, y todo oh, eso. Oh, 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 oh. Give me a second, please. Mm. Well, let's see, I think. Can you see it better now? Yes, right, so I think it's better. Yes. Yeah, my 21st. Yes. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I am going to go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They are going to pull on my ear 20 times, 21, <laughs> 21 times, one for each uh, year. year is an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends uh, are very traditional. <laughs> They're very traditional. Okay, very good. Now, what, let's see. Let's see about the information related to Elena. Okay, so we got the information. And in order to celebrate her birthday, Elena's friend are going to pull her ear 21 times. You know, pull her true. ear. True. true. So that's true. Yes. Okay. True. Now we're going to read the second one. I hope you can read this one. I think it's better if we do it this way. Mm. Let me see. Well, let's try. Your teacher. Okay. Give me one second, we're going to see the info. Hey. Oh, no, it's better. I think it's better. Now, can you read there? Yes, it's better. Okay, so go ahead. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Noodles are for long life. Okay, now let's see. Cecilia says, did you have some problems with camera? Um, okay, okay, uh, Cecia. Uh, hopefully, you you will you will uh, solve the problem later. But you see, now that we had information about Yang Qing, and let me know if she is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. True false. or false? True. false. false. Well, somebody false. says false. 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 Oh, so her mother is going to cook noodles, yes. right? Yang Ching is not going to cook, but her mother. So that is false. It's false. Uh, I, false. Okay. Now, let's see what we got about Mr. and Mrs. Aoki Kyoto. Now, can somebody help? Well, can somebody else help me to read? Mr. and Mrs. Aoki. I think it, you, you can see the info there. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow in Japan. The 60th birthday is called Kanreki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are children going 
to give him a red that invest. A red hat and vest. All right. Okay, so let's get back to the exercise. Now, on his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red. True or false? True. True. What is he going to what is True. what is he going to receive? Uh, a red hat. Uh, a, a red, red hat. Person. A red hat and a vest. And vest. What is vest in Spanish? Like chaqueta. All right. So we have a hat and a vest. Good. So we are missing only one. I think there's going to be the last one. It's about Philippe Jolie from Paris. Here we go. So automatically, anybody from the group, do me the favor to read the information, please. That's about Philippe. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to be 30 next week. Good. So I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner in France. When you have a birthday, you often invite people out. And in some countries, I know it's the opposite people take you out. It's the opposite people take you out. Okay, so let's get back to the exercise. And let's see what's coming. Philip's friend are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. True or false? True. False. True or false? False. false. Let's say false, false. Right. So we're gonna see the answers. I know false, false. Yes. Let's see the answers. So we can we can compare. In the number one, uh information about Elena. Uh, that is true, right? So she's going to, uh, I mean, Elena friend are going to pull her ear 21 times. <laughs> I don't like that, right? So let's see my, how, how old are you people? How old are you? How old are you, love, for example? I will ask some of you. Um, I'm 27 years old. Armando, you are 27. Yes. Hi, me. How old are you? How are you? Yeah, how old are you? Uh, 40, 45. Oh, did you say I am 45? Yeah, I am, I am 45. Okay, Nelson, where? Uh, how old are you, Nelson? It's 44. 44. Ana Graciela, how old are you? I am 53. 53. Ronald, how old are you? 22. 52. Now, wow. So, only adult people. Hey, do we have a teenager here? Solo habemos adultos o hay adolescentes por acá? Only adult people? Not teenagers? Not in. Okay, so that's good. Mm -hmm. That is a good data about this group. Not in years at all. Okay, so actually that was the first um, section. First section is over. Do you remember about the topics we were discussing in the first section? Well, we took into consideration different grammatical structures, vocabulary, among other things such as uh, the ordinal numbers, the days of the week, the months of the year, uh, how to provide uh, birth, birth dates, etc. Okay, so now we're going to talk a little about parts of the body. That is our goal. So by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. Parts of the body. Now let me see. In order to start, I will, I will give you some commands. You know, commands? Le voy a dar alguna, algunas indicaciones en inglés y ustedes solo la hacen, okay? Okay, now everybody, do me a favor to touch your, your nose. Touch your nose. Uh, okay. Touch your nose, please. Okay. Pull out your ears three times. 
pull out your ears three times. <laughs> I can see Elsa de la duda. Be careful, Elsa. Okay, only three. Solo tres. No, no jalen mucho las orejitas. Okay. Now, do me the favor to, to do this. Do it, please. I can. Do <laughs> How do you say? ¿Cómo dicen? ¿Cómo dicen ceja en inglés? Move your left eyebrow. Now, the opposite. Now, do this. Eyebrows. Can you do it? Can you do, uh, do this, please? Let's do this. Do this. When you go, do this, hagan esto, hagan okay, aquello. Okay, now do this. Touch your nose. Touch oh. your eye. Oh. Touch your oh, eyebrow. Okay, now move your eyebrow. Can you move it? Now, can you move the other one? Can you do this? <laughs> look at look at Wilfredo. Wilfredo, do it, please. <laughs> okay, very good. That's fantastic. I can. <laughs> hey, now you see. Now, can you move your ears? I can put more su orejita. I can put more su oreja. Okay, if you can do it, okay, do this. Do this. I, I, I can, let me see. Yeah, you, you can, Armando? You can see. Let, let's I can see. see, perdón. Now, okay. So, Get closer, get closer, because we cannot see. Va, todos viendo a Armando, vamos a mover la orejita. Vamos a ver si se le nota I que mueve la oreja. I can move. You can. I thought you, you said I can, right? I okay, can. so, but listen, we're going to talk about body parts. Okay, Carla, Gabriela, okay, I got it. So I, I, I now I know that you are facing problems with internet. Okay, very good. Now, how do you say dientes in English? Como dicen diente en inglés. Como dicen pulgar en inglés. Ah, okay. So I will give you exactly. Let me see. I will give you exactly two minutes. Le voy a dar dos minutos para que busquen en internet algunas partes del cuerpo. Okay, dos minutos partiendo de, de ahorita. Nadie se va a poder quedar callado. Nos van a mostrar algunas partes. Eh, del cuerpo, cómo se dicen, cómo se pronuncian, ok, two or three minutes, three minutes, ok, para que buscan así rapidito en la, en la web. Oh, I'm sorry, Kenny, I'm sorry to know about it, I'm sorry, Kenny, um, I will try to speak louder, ok, but I don't know if it is, uh, if you have problems or if you're facing problems with internet. So hopefully, hopefully you're, gonna you're not going to face any trouble from now on. Okay, did you get it? Did you get some vocabulary there? Did you get some vocabulary there? Now, if you got it, let us know about it. Yes. How do you say uñas, for example, in English? How do you say um, uh, manos in English, pies in English, pie derecho, pie izquierdo? Okay, so let us know about it. I foot. Uh, that's that right, foot. Uh -huh. What else did you get? ¿Qué más obtuvieron en la web? Finger, a latch, a brown, eye. And you got a list. You got a list. Arm, 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 the shoulders. arm, 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 um, elbow, uh, the elbow. Neck. Um, the mouth, hair. Neck. The hair. The neck. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, beard? so the beard, 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 and two beard, lips, beard, lips, lips. lips. So you say upper lips, lower lips, upper teeth, lower teeth. How do you say lengua in English? Tongue. 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 All right. So that's your tongue. Tongue. So you see, we're going to study a lot, of, a lot of vocabulary tonight. And let us get down to business. Okay. Now we're going to see something here just to introduce or to get more familiarized with the topic that's about the parts of the body. Pay attention because at the end, I will ask some of you to tell me parts of the body. Okay, so listen carefully. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head, eye, ear, ear, nose, nose, mouth, mouth, tooth, tooth, teeth, teeth, chin, chin, back, back, shoulder, shoulder, chest, shoulder. chest, stomach, stomach, throat, throat, neck, neck, wrist, wrist. Arm, arm, elbow, elbow, thumb, thumb, hand, hand, finger, finger, fingers, fingers, leg, leg, knee, knee, ankle, ankle, foot, foot, feet, feet, toe, toe, toes. Toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. So, An easy to... way to do this is by pointing to your head uh -huh. and expressing, this is my head. This is my head. Then pointing to your arm, arm. and saying, this is, my, this is arm. my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. Okay, do that until you learn all the vocabulary there. Now I think it's better if we if we can go over them. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn vocabulary for this if we go to the to the PDF file so that we can get some extra info here. So over here we're gonna go so this is this is information about Elena and all the stuff, right? So but now we're talking about body. What's the matter? What parts? Now I think it's, I, I think you can you can see better. Can you see better? Pueden ver mejor esta imagen? Yes. Yes, right. So do me the favor to tell me this word. Uh, head. Como dicen dolor head. de cabeza in English. Yeah. Headache. Headache. Ah, headache. 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 headache, right? But this is the head. Okay. What is this? Eye. 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 Ear. 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 Nose. 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 Sorry. Mouth. 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 Let's go over yeah. this part. Then we have. Back. 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 Shoulder. 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 How do you say dolor de estómago in English? Stomach. How do you say dolor de estómago in English? Stomach. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Now, okay, so this one. Thumb. This one. Uh, um, and this one? Finger. 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 And if it is plural, fingers. fingers. Now let's go over this part. Okay, let's go over this part. And let's say, okay, you say mouth, tooth, chin. What about this? Wrist. Wrist. What about Wrist. this? Arm. 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 This okay. part. Arm. Elbow. 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 What about this Elbow. one? Throat. 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 Throat.
done. And then we have this. Foot. 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 Feet. 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 Toes. 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 Okay. Uh, and that's it, right? So now, what are, what are we going to do? We choose to, uh, five people to tell me some parts of your body. Van a mencionar algunas partes de su, de su cuerpo apuntándonos y diciéndonos, hey, this is my neck, this is my feet, this is, these are my hands, etc. Okay, so but I want, I want, I want you to tell me about some parts of your body. For example, eh, María Wendy. Uh, this is my eyes. Your this eyes. Is my mouth. Uh -huh. Your mouth. This is now my. You can, you can touch your mouth, right? This is my mouth. This is my hair. These are my my. Uh huh. This is is my elbow. Uh, that's your elbow, okay. This is my chin. Uh, that's your chin. Good. Uh, this is my finger. Oh, uh, those are your fingers. Good. Fingers. Uh, this is my hair. That's your ear. 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 This that's is it. my eyelash. Eyelashes. Okay. Eyelash. Eyelashes. Good. Eyelash. Uh, this is my my chin. That's your that's your chin, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, as you know, it's, it's because there are some words that are very similar in English and that we need to, to, to be careful, okay? Oh, but that's fantastic, Maria. Thank you very much. Let's listen to Marisol. Hello, Marisol. What can you tell us about some parts of the body? Hello, teacher. Hello. Hey. This is my forehead. Forehead, good. This That's a, a new, a new one. And this is my nose. nose. That's your, your nose. And this is my hands. Your hand, right hand, right. And this is my hair. And that's your hair. Now, I will give you two minutes more. Dos minutos para que identifiquen cómo se dicen los dedos de las manos y los dedos de los pies en inglés. Okay? Now, go and look for it, please. Go and look for it. Then you are going to tell me. Two or three minutes will be enough. Three minutes. Finger? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. fingers. Finger of your hands. Uh the the uh -huh. how do you say pulgar, for example? Middle two. Uh -huh. Middle two. The middle finger. The right ring. finger in the in their finger. Index finger. The middle finger. Ring finger. The ring, ring finger. finger. And little finger. And a pinky, right? Some people call it pinky. Pinky. <laughs> yeah. Now, what about the, 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 when we talk about your foot? Big two, index uh -huh. two, middle two, and little two. Okay, toe, right? Toe. Yeah, toe. Very good. And fourth okay, two. so, I don't know, but sometimes we tend to say, like, hey, how do you say el dedo gordo del pie in English? Big two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but actually, I mean, we call it like that, but actually, that is not its name. But you see, now I will I will continue in case there are no more participants who want to participate in this part. Here we go. So, so we did this part. There's a conversation over here. Okay, but let me see what else uh, can we get from the from the from the platform because you know the platform contains a lot of information that's important. Okay, so body parts or parts of the body, and then we're gonna go over some more uh, grammatical structures such as have plus noun plus a feel plus adjective to express what to express health problems 
by the end of this class, you will learn how to how to use or how to yeah, how to use have plus a noun plus a field plus an adjective. So we're gonna see what's coming soon. I think we're gonna we're gonna get the conversation, the one that you saw there. We're gonna yeah. see some vocabulary, and then you are going to tell me the way you feel now. Listen. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. <laughs> now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Listen, please, have and get some noun. info. I feel have. plus adjective. Uh huh. What's the matter? What's the matter would What's be a wrong? question. What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a headache. I have a backache. I have a backache. I have the flu. I, I have the flu. How are you? How are you? How do you feel? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel homesick? I feel better. I feel better. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Negative adjectives such as? Sick. Sick. Awful. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Positive, miserable, what's the Fine. last one? Right? Great. Great. Terrific. Terrific. Fantastic. Fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. Now, take a look. This is important. How to form statements with have, have plus, plus noun. noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus Subject have plus, plus have noun. Plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. I have a headache. The subject is I. I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun. A headache. I have a headache. I Let's take a look headache. at one more example. One more example. I have take a look. blue. I the have subject a is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun. I have the flu. The flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. Feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula. Subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. The subject is I. Subject. Then we need to add feel the verb feel finally we need to put an, an adjective, adjective. Homesick. homesick or it can be any of these adjectives okay, towards the it right. can be sick it can be awful it can be fine it can be great i feel cetera. sick awful terrible terrible Miserable. Miserable. Fine. Fine. Great. Great. Terrific. Terrific. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective okay so how do you feel today how do you feel tonight people great how do you feel tonight hello, hello. hello. okay great. Ah, okay great. So great and fine uh, terrific fantastic i'm really happy okay um i hope everybody's okay now 
we're gonna see like some exercises. There's a conversation on right here. And now uh, you see the information is in English and in Spanish. You can see, listen to the conversations. Where do people heart? Heart. There may be one or two correct answers for each conversation. Now, head, neck, throat. Listen. That's the first. Page 80, exercise four. Listening. I have a headache. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Okay, so what's the first one? Two. What's the problem? Ow! Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Conversation three. three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I think it's been in four. number four. Oh. Martha, right? What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. All right, so let me know about the answers, please. Hey, what's the problem? What is the problem with with the third in the first conversation? Head. Uh, the, head. the person has a head. head. How do you say head. dolor de cabeza? Headache. Uh, headache. Person headache. has a headache, right? In the conversation two, what happened to the lady, to Alison? What happened to Alison? The back, back. back and elbow. So he, she hurt her back and her elbow. What about elbow. what about this guy? What about Jeffrey? Food. Food. Uh, uh -huh. How do you say dolor de muelas or de dientes in English? Tooth. Tooth. A toothache. <laughs> toothache. Right. Okay, and then we have uh, Marta's uh, Wrist information. Wrist. Wrist and eyes. Wrist eyes. and eyes. So she's having problems with it. We're gonna see the answer. Good. Wrist and eyes. So uh, Marta is facing problems or uh, health problems with her eyes. This guy is facing problems with his tooth. Then Allison, uh -huh. her, her back in her elbow and finally i think this person has a headache good this person has a headache now let me see we're gonna practice a little bit more because we're almost done and uh, i think there is a, an exercise to be solved over here now this is the grammar right so that's the information that appeared that appeared in the in the conversation, okay? So, dolor de espalda? A backache. Okay, dolor de hígado? An earache. An earache. What about the next one? A headache. A headache. A headache. Stomach. Stomach. A stomach ache. A stomach ache. A stomach ache. And? A toothache. A toothache. A toothache. A toothache. A cold. A cold. A cough. A cough. 
a fever, a fever, 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 the flu, 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 the do you have a headache? No, I don't. No, I don't. Do you have an headache? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So it's a very short conversation on here. But uh, let me see. Now, you are going to tell uh, everybody the way you feel now. Okay? How do you feel today? I feel fine. Thanks. What about you? Leo, I feel terrible. I have a stomachache. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Now, how do you feel today? It's a question. And let's see. Let's get back to, to, the, to the info in here. So we're almost knowledge. Yeah, the knowledge lesson, and, and we have some vocabulary that's important to mention here. I also, <clears throat> I think I have like a, a, a powerful presentation, but if I'm not able to share it with you tonight, I will share it to you later. Let me see. Oh, well, this is info about body, body parts, and uh, I think this is just going to be good to have some review about what we studied. But that would be later. Okay. What's the problem with being? What is the problem with being? He has headache. He has a headache. Only a headache. Hey. It seems that he has a headache. What about what happened to Allison? What happened to Alison? I mean, Alison has a backache, right? Backache. After that, after that accident, I think she's she got a backache. Backache. What about Jeffrey? What about Jeffrey? Jeffrey has two. Okay. Jeffrey okay. has okay. to two. A toothache. Toothache. A toothache, okay. right? Okay. So a toothache. So we have okay. like very different vocabulary. Yeah, I have I feel and adjectives. I am, right? So you say if you if you use this verb, have say I have a headache, I have a backache, I have the flu. But if you use the verb feel, I feel homesick. Homesick, sorry. I feel better. I don't feel well. If you use uh, the adjectives that are over here, then you say, I, I feel sick. I am, or I feel awful, terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Okay, so. Let's see, it's because you know we have more. We're gonna see some medication that we need to know, some vocabulary we need to know. Here we go. Cold pills, eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Uh, whenever I have a headache, whenever I take an aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take 
give as many examples as you can. Okay, so you're Look gonna provide three more. Solo, van a solo nos van a proveer score. tres más. Tres más, ¿ok? Para aprovechar el tiempo. Pueden buscar en la web, pueden crearlas ustedes mismos, ¿ok? O tomar ejemplo de lo que estamos viendo acá. Describe what you take. ¿Ok? So... When you have a headache, when you have a backache, when you have a uh, um, earache, etc., what do you take? What do you take, okay, when you feel sick? Oh, illness. Now, did you finish? Some participants who want to participate. Come on, medications. Did you get it? Hello, guys. Yes. Yeah, tell me, please. Tell me. Armando, for example, I don't know if you already finished. Whenever I have a, a backache, mm -hmm. I take a aspirin. Whenever I have a backache, yeah. I take a, I, I have, or I, I take um. An aspirin? Uh, Whenever you have a stomach ache? I. Okay. Whenever I have a stomach ache, uh, uh, I have, I take pecto <laughs> uh, okay. You have some pecto -bismol. Okay, what else can you tell me? When you get the flu? I... What what do you have when you get the flu? Tell me. I take one tea. Okay. I have some tea. I take a little grip. Okay, I, I take a, a, a very grip. I take a uh, cold pills. Okay, cold pills, good. And that's it, Peter, right? Hello. Whenever I had, I take it, I take it, or to them plus. I take all to them plus. When you feel? When you feel tired. Okay, actually, that's what we have been discussing, okay? Yes. Now. Uh, whenever, my hair, whenever, uh -huh. my, whenever my hair hurt, I take aspirin. Whenever my ears hurt, I take an aspirin. Aha, uh -huh. very good. So, anybody else? Uh, teacher. Hello? Uh, whenever I have headache, 
I say, I say it again. Uh, that's great. Aspirin? Or no. Acetamino femi, pero ah, okay. la pronunciación es, es complicada. Okay, so keep keep practicing. Keep practicing, okay. What about Ingrid? Ingrid, whenever you whenever I have a stomach take a uh, antiacid. Antacid. Whenever you get, okay. you get a, a, a backache, okay, Imelda? Whenever I have a meat, I take mushroom cream. Okay, mushroom? Yes. Okay. Anybody else? No. Okay, let's see. I take aspirin for fever. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Who is participating? Nelson says. Ah, Nelson. Very good, Nelson. Excellent. Anybody else? No more? Oh, well, I will check list attendance and then we're going to see what's coming for tomorrow, okay? So in a very quick way, people, list attendance. Ana Graciela. Anderson Jeremy. Well, my feet hurt, I take um, a, vim, a vitamin of thing. Okay. Now I will check list attendance, people. I'm here to uh, Okay. Armando? Here, teacher. Blanca? Present, teacher. Aníbal? I'm here. Cecia? Diana? I'm here, teacher. Okay, Elmer? Here, teacher. Elsa? Here I am, teacher. Floricia? Ingrid. Ingrid Present is. Ah, Ingrid is here. Good. Eh, Jaime Ventura. I am here, teacher. Karina Yamiler. I'm here, teacher. Carla Gabriela. Present, teacher. Yeah. Eh, Guadalupe. Kenny Guadalupe. Ah, uh, here I am, teacher. <coughs> okay, Maria Imelda. I am here, teacher. Okay. Maria Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Marisol. Present. Nelson. Present, teacher. Romel. I'm here, teacher. Ronald. Present, teacher. And Wilfredo. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Uh, what's your name? Cecia. Cecia, <clears throat> Cecia, Cecia. Cecia Gemina, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. Fantastic. Now you yeah. see we got some vocabulary. I think it's been yeah. very meaningful. Yeah. Thank you. Cecilia. Okay, Cecilia. Well, you have been doing a great job. So don't worry. Uh, because uh, when when being in basic level of English, you are supposed to listen to English most of the time. Little by little, you are producing something in English. Si ustedes se fijan, Eh, poco a poco van adquiriendo vocabulario, expresiones nuevas, ¿ok? Y eso, pues, va a hacer que ustedes vayan creciendo en el idioma. Lo importante es siempre estar activo, ¿ok? Estar activo en la clase, participar, ¿ok? Um, crear, es sumamente importante crear, crear oraciones, frases en inglés. Eso ayuda mucho a ponerlo en práctica. Ok, so... Well, tomorrow we're going to continue talking about the topic. Don't worry, because we're going to continue studying something else tomorrow. Okay, and um, let me see if there is something for you to uh, work for tomorrow.
Okay, so you're gonna work in the page uh, 81, people. 81. Have some review about it, about this. Read the conversation, uh, get the, the medicine they are, they are taking or they are having. Okay, and let's work a little on pronunciation. Take some aspirin, don't drink coffee, go to go to bed, don't work too hard, etc. So we're gonna stop over here. Nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. Y nos vemos el día de mañana. Si ustedes encuentran otro listadito de palabras y lo quieren compartir en el grupo, bienvenido. Okay. So hey. let, let us meet okay, teacher. tomorrow. Nos encontramos mañana, okay? okay. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Have a nice Bye. night. Excellent. See you tomorrow. Siempre quedamos los valientes. <risa> Todos se van. Somos puntuales nosotros, somos responsables. Exacto, la hora completa. <risa> no, porque puede pasar que después digan que no tuvimos la hora completa, que no va. Vale. Ah, no, que ese es. por eso es que nos quedamos más que todos. <risa> Me da risa que ya no nos puedo, va a me da risa Yo que no que cuando... más termina el pitch se espera a ver quién se queda y se pone a reír. <risa> es la primera que se ríe. Yo, no, yo por eso no, no cuelgo. Compañero, solo yo o hay alguien más que a veces queda en las nubes que no le entiende al pitch. No, yo hay momentos veces, que sí no le entiendo. A veces que no. O, 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 Ajá, no entiendo lo que me está diciendo. Planeta. Pero es lo que lo que dijo al principio, que no nos este, no nos aferremos a que no le entendimos o a eso. Uh -huh. que vamos a ir agarrando el hilo en base vaya a la clase. ¿no? Es que lo no, que pasa es que venimos acostumbrados del teacher, del teacher Escamilla y él habla bien clarito. Entonces ahora se nos hace difícil el oído, ya se acostumbró al teacher Escamilla y se nos hace difícil con el teacher. No, él, él tiene ventaja porque así vamos acostumbrándonos también a que es Exacto. 